Okay, hi. Kau fine guys, okay? Uh, five minutes of your time, okay? Apa yang kita nak buat hari ni? Just refresh through a bit about process pengaratan, okay? Your rusting process, ah. Huh? A very important part in your redox chapter. Confirm akan ada satu at least one objective question. If not a structure question, or it can come out in the essay also. Ah, so alam ni. Now, when we talk about rusting, okay? Come here when we talk about rusting. Very important is kena ada satu piece of logam, okay? Sorry, a piece of iron, okay? In that iron piece, you kena ada bahagian ini. Bahagian ni apa nama bahagian ini? It must be exposed, okay? Dia mesti terdedah. Very important word, ah, okay? So the metal piece, the iron piece, must be exposed to air, to air and water, okay? So kita ada udara dekat atas sini, and then ni kita ada your water, okay? So in order to rust. In order to rust, kena ada apa? Kena ada air, kena ada udara. Okay, ini dua kena ada. And then, kena ada bahagian besi yang terdedah. Okay, a part of the iron piece that is exposed to the water and the air. See ya, okay? Now, what happens here first, benda yang kamu kena faham, dalam lapisan air ini, bahagian paling luar, bahagian paling luar ni, bahagian ni ya, bahagian paling luar ni, dia expose to more oxygen compared to bahagian dalam. Bahagian dalam ini expose terdedah to less oxygen. Okay, so kepekatan oxygen, the concentration of oxygen on the outer layer of the water. And the inside layer of the water tak sama, okay? So because of perbezaan pada kepekatan oksigen, okay? Concentration here more, concentration here less. What happens? The water with your oksigen. This is your first half equation, ah, huh? okay? Produces this ion. What ion is this? Your hydroxide ion, okay? Iron ni pula, okay, this is your besi Half equation number 2 Besi ni Akan membebaskan, mengeluarkan Dua elektron Untuk menjadi Fe2 plus So sekarang apa kita ada We got the Iron 2 plus ion And the hydroxide ion, betul? Okay, dua-dua ion ini akan campur That gives you number 3 Di mana the Fe2 plus ion Bertindak balas with the hydroxide ion Untuk memberikan kamu Fe Macam ni ya Benda ni kita panggil Iron 2 hydroxide Okay Ferrum 2 hydroxida Boleh? Until here clear or not? First the water Oxygen Campur give you this ion Hydroxida punya ion Lepas tu besi ni dia buang keluar dua elektron Dia memberi kamu dia jadi Fe2 plus ion Dua-dua ion ini campur jadi Fe2 OH okay? Ion 2 hydroxide Clear lah until here Next what happens Okay next what happens Nombor 4 The ion 2 hydroxide tadi uh, Very simple Tengah-tengah ni kamu tulis apa? Tengah-tengah ni kamu tulis further Further Oxidizes, okay? Dioksidakan selanjutnya. That's what it means, okay? Dioksidakan selanjutnya kepada FeOH3 pula. So maksudnya dekat sini daripada ion 2 hydroxide dia jadi ion 3 hydroxide. Uh, last one, last one. Ion 3 hydroxide ini sekarang Okay, nampak sini ya Ion 3 hydroxide ini Dikeringkan, okay Dikeringkan means Hydrated, okay Terhidrat Air dia keluar Sebab benda ni lembab, nampak? Ada OH dekat sini, betul? Dia lembab, basah So, dia akan kering, okay Bila dia kering, dia jadi Fe2 O3 dot XH2O Uh, kamu jangan risau You don't get worried seeing this This XH2O adalah bilangan mol air yang sudah keluar 
Okey, bilangan mol air yang sudah keluar. Yang jadi karat adalah benda ni. Ha, this is what we call what is this? This is iron 3 oxide. This is your rust. Karat, okey, warna dia brown color. And then dia kering, jangan lupa ah, warna dia brown color and then dia kering. Dry dulu dia dah jadi habuk, dihilang. So proses di mana besi yang kuat boleh jadi habuk melalui proses pengaratan ini. Okay? Clear? Settle? I hope you understand this. I hope this helped you. Uh, see you again in the next 5 minute session. Okay? Bye.